Okay, uh, good morning. Okay, we are going to continue the okay, boundary value problems for the second types of boundary condition, which is the derivative boundary conditions. And then, okay, um, okay, these are the standard procedures okay, that you yeah, will involve. Okay, either you have the normal boundary conditions or derivative boundary conditions. Means, okay, first step, you draw okay, the diagram. And then later on, okay, uh, you find the y node, yn. If the first case normal boundary condition, okay, the y node and yn okay, are given okay, directly. I mean, y node will give you okay, a constant value. Okay, the okay, ending point of the, okay, this is the yn, also given in a constant value. Then step two, step three, okay, uh, can be yeah, mean is uh is skip, but for the derivative boundary condition, y not y n, okay, are given in the derivative form. Hence, you need to find y not y n using the three point central formula here. Means the y okay, first derivative okay is actually your okay y i prime is a y i plus one minus y i minus one divided by two h, and then step four. The second order differential equation, you are going to okay, write in the finite different form, different okay, form, whereas okay, you have first derivative you replace by yi plus 1 minus yi minus 1 divided by 2h. Okay, second derivative you replace by yi plus 1 minus 2yi plus yi minus 1 divided by h squared. And then, okay. So for the normal boundary condition, you will substitute i from 1, 2 up to n minus 1 because y not y n k are k are known. Okay, if the k derivative boundary condition, since y not and y n are unknowns, you need to substitute i from 0 to n k in order to solve y not y1, y2 up to y n here. Okay, after you get after you substitute i from 0 to n, you will get k n plus 1 system of linear equation then put into the okay, matrix form and solve using the technique that you learn in chapter 3 okay or if the system is 3 by 3 or 4 by 4 you may directly okay, uh, plug in into your scientific calculator to obtain okay, the solution of okay, y okay, y uh, y node y1 y2 up to the yn here okay and then we we'll, example 1 and 2 we okay, have seen k okay, in the uh, the previous lecture, which is a normal boundary condition where y bracket 1 means when x equal to 1, y is 1.5, y bracket 2 when x equal to 2, y is k, uh, 15. Hence, k, you solve okay, the unknown y1, y2, y3, y4. Okay, if derivative boundary condition, they will give maybe, for example, y prime 1 equal to 1.5, y prime 2 equal to 15. Hence, k, there is a derivative form, so it's not the y node k directly, y phi directly. Hence, you need to replace the derivative boundary condition using three point central difference. Okay, and then the example two also it's, it's a okay, the normal boundary condition or the constant boundary condition y bracket zero point two. Okay, oh sorry, given here y bracket 0 is when x 0, y 0, y bracket 1 equal to 0 is actually when x is 1, y is 0. So, okay, the the y value at both endpoints, so it's what we call boundary condition, if are known okay, directly, then you just solve the y, okay, the intermediate y, I mean y1, y2, y3 in this case. Okay, and then, okay, example, okay, example 3, okay, we have, okay, uh, okay, uh, Record it well in the section three lectures, and then we will jump. You okay later on we we can watch back. Then we'll jump to the okay the, the last example here. This is what we call derivative boundary condition. So y prime zero minus y bracket zero equal to three. Okay, or they may have only okay uh, like okay here only one term y prime one equal to zero. So so in this case, y prime 1 equal to 0. So when x is 1, the y value is not known directly. Same thing here. Because you've got extra term here, y prime bracket 0. So mean when x 0, 
okay uh, so this is a why not value is not known directly okay and the ODE given is actually y double prime plus 2xy prime minus 3y okay minus 3y okay equal to negative 6 exponent negative x multiply 1 plus x squared solve x from 0 up to 1 okay with the increment h equal to 0 0.2 so mean x from 0 increment is 0 0.2 0 0.4 0 0.6 0 0.81 and then we discretize because x you have so many x there we need to discretize x so this is okay i0 so mean this is x node i1 this is x number one this is x number two this is x number three this is x number four this is x number five Hence, correspondingly for each x we have the corresponding y so this is y node y1 y2 y3 y4 y5 that you need to solve so total okay when you have a derivative boundary condition we have okay additional y node and y y n in this case n is equal to 5 so if a normal boundary condition you need to solve y1 to y4 you get 4 by 4 okay linear system so for derivative boundary condition if you have additional 2 okay to uh, value to be solved which is y not y5 so total this one will be 6 by 6 of the system of linear equation hence your calculator 6 by 6 you cannot be uh, cannot be solved directly so you need to use okay, the technique that you learn in chapter 3 to solve it okay? and the, um, the system that obtained from the boundary value problem is always 3 diagonal so you can always solve it using Thomas method Okay, and if 6 by 6 is quite tedious, you solve it using Thomas method. That's why we are normally solve okay, Thomas algorithm. But unfortunately, okay, your syllabus not included Thomas algorithm. And then you can check whether the okay, matrix A is diagonally dominant. Then you can solve it using gauss seder iterative method. Okay, otherwise, you can okay, uh, reduce the matrix A to upper triangular matrix using okay, Gauss elimination method that you learn. So this is the first step, draw okay, the diagram so that we know okay, uh, which y that we need to solve. Okay, step two is actually find, uh, find the y, y nodes. Huh? So from the first boundary condition, y prime bracket 0 minus y bracket 0 equal to 3. Okay, then okay, well, y prime 0, you replace it by 3 point centra difference. Okay, so. Okay, we are standing okay, y prime zero exactly means that we have this one is a y prime uh, zero. This is actually x node. Nah? So y prime x node okay, and is equal to you have a y prime nodes. So to find the first derivative at the okay, uh, i equal to zero. So using three point centra, so you will need three points. So uh, the point ahead, which is y1. And the point behind will be y, okay, negative one, okay. That's why, okay, y prime node is like you find the dy dx, okay, when you're standing at x equal to x node. So using three points centra, that's why you have y one minus y minus negative one, okay, and then divided dx is actually, okay, from this will be your x negative one. Okay, up to x node, this will be increment h, and then from x node up to x number one, this is increment h. So total is two h. So mean the difference of y is actually y one minus y minus negative one. Different of x, okay, is actually total is two h. If we use three point centra difference, so y bracket zero, okay, y bracket zero is actually y. Mean when zero is actually x node okay y bracket okay x node can be simplified as y node that's why here y node equal to three and then eliminate the okay uh two h by multiply two each term by two h so this one two h cancel so the second term we have minus two h y nodes okay and right hand side you multiply by uh two h so total is six h and then okay um when you plug in later on uh, the uh, the step four 
after you plug in okay, the second derivative by the fine three point central different okay first derivative by k okay, three point central different and then when you okay, um so in this case we will solve k okay, y not up to y phi and then you plug okay, you substitute i from zero i from zero up to phi you will get the this term y negative one okay y negative one that's why from the first k boundary condition okay the y negative one here need to be eliminated. Later on, k okay, when you substitute y prime one, you have k okay, another point which is y number six also need to be eliminated. So that's why from y one minus y minus one minus two h y not equal to six h, okay. Okay, express y minus k okay, y minus one out. So that's why y minus one you bring to Okay, the other side, so y minus one, so okay, is equal to y one minus two h, where the h is point two, so it minus zero point four. Okay, why not? Because replace h by zero point two, so this one replace h by zero point two, so six times zero point two, you got one point two. Okay, collect to here. Mean okay, brings a y minus one to the other side, so six h to left side. So that's why it's minus 1.2. Okay, this one to be not confuse you, you may replace this by uh, equation star. So this is y negative 1, re okay, replace it equal to y1 minus 0.4, y0 minus 1.2. Okay, up to uh, now, do you have any question before we proceed to find the okay, uh, second step? This is find y0. Fine, why not? Uh? Because I changed the background template and this is high, I didn't notice it. Okay, a any questions before we proceed to the third step? Finding the okay, yn. Yn by applying the second boundary condition. Okay, if no, I will just proceed. Okay, uh, step three, find yn. So given the second boundary condition is y prime one equal to zero. K1 is at x number 5. This is K1 is actually uh, x number 5. Okay, y prime bracket x, okay, x5 equal to 0, or can be simplified the notation as y prime 5. Uh, y equal to 4. I think this is wrong. Okay, this is equal 0. y prime 5 equal to 0. And then solve okay, the y prime k okay, standing at okay, uh, the i equal to 5 using 3 point centra. So mean i k, okay, y k, okay, this one y prime 5. Exactly, you are standing at x 5. Okay, the point x equal to x number 5. Ahead will be x 6 behind. Okay, at the back is x number 4. So correspondingly, for each x, you have the corresponding y. So this is y5, this is y6, this is y number 4. And then again, y prime 5 is actually, okay, y prime 5 is actually your dy, different of y, okay, divided by different of x, standing at x equal to x number 5, using three point centra. That's why, okay, different of y will be y6 minus y number 4, okay, from x, okay, 4 to x5, the step side is h. x5 to x6, the step side is h. So, different of x total is 2h. Okay, and then um, step 4 should be go down here. So, <clears throat> since k, okay, y prime 1 equal to 0, so you have y6 minus y4 divided by 2h equal to 0, hence k y6 equal to y4. Okay, and then this one you can replace it as second star equation. Okay, so okay, up to the second boundary condition. Okay, do you have any questions here? Uh, doctor, can you repeat the y prime x five that part? Uh, step y prime x prime. Uh, step number three. Number three. Okay. Okay. Step number three. Okay, this is from the question given y prime 1 equal to 0. Okay, 1, bracket 1, and then mean, you look at here. 1, 1, this is actually 
is x number 5. I mean, y prime 1 equal to 0 is actually y prime x number 5 equal 0. Okay, and then can be simplified the notation as y prime 5 equal to 0. Okay, so mean y prime is a first derivative standing at the point x number 5. Okay, what, okay? so exactly using three point centra, so this is like dy dx, y prime, mean the first derivative, okay, y prime is actually equivalent to dy dx, okay, phi is actually you standing at x equal to x number 5. So using three point centra different using three point centra different okay you look at you may also look at the diagram that you draw in the first step you are standing at x number five different of y you need okay the point ahead in front of you so you need okay y number six okay that's why it's y six Okay, y6 deduct the point behind, which is y number 4. Okay, from uh, this is x4 equal to 0 0.8 to 1. Here, 0 0.8 to 1 okay, is h, uh, which is h equal to 0 0.2. And then if you add in another point number 6, this is, should be 1.2. So mean also h. So mean from 0.2 to 1.2 is actually you got 0 0.4, which is actually 2h. And then given y prime k okay, 1 equal to 0, that's why you equal it to 0. So you have y 6 minus y number 4. Because 2h times 0, you have 0. That's why y 6 equal to y number 4. So Okay, this is the second boundary condition, which is easier than the first one because first one you, you got two term. Another term is without boundary condition y bracket zero. Y bracket zero is actually y naught. Okay, y prime one. Y prime one. This is actually y prime number five. So you cannot say y five is zero. Huh? So okay, when you see the question, if y one. Uh, let's say y one zero. This is actually y number 5 equals 0. But this one prime, y prime. So it's different. So you, okay, you have to see properly, is it y or y prime? Okay, so this one, ignore it. So, okay, is it okay? Step number 3. Ah, yes, doctor. Thank you, doctor. So step number 3, y6 equal to y4. So... Uh, I change it to double star because not to confuse you later on you will, you need to solve y not y1 y2 y3 y4 y5 six equation so I will label the equation 1 2 3 4 5 6 so not confused here so I put the equation obtained from uh, first boundary condition as star the equation that obtained from the second boundary condition as a double star here okay step number four here is actually from the ODE, okay, the given ODE, okay, the given ODE, we have the Y double prime plus 2XY prime minus 3Y equal negative 6 exponent negative X, okay, bracket 1 plus X squared. Okay, and then second derivative using three point centra different, the formula will be YI plus 1 minus 2YI plus yi minus 1 divided by h squared. Okay, and then 2, okay, x, because x, we have got x node, x1, x2, x3, x4, x, x5. So that's why x is xi. Where the i, okay, where the i is exactly 0, 1, 2, up to 5. Because you want to solve y node, y1, y2, up to y number 5. So that's why x, we have a xi y prime replaced by y, okay, first derivative using three point centra so it will be y i plus one minus y i minus one divided by two h okay here is actually same okay same formula is only i is five okay i is five that's why you got y 
5 plus 1, y6. Okay, i is 5 minus y number 4. Because this is a general formula. Okay, this one specific okay, when you're standing at okay, i equal to 5. So yi plus 1 minus yi minus 1 divided by 2h. So minus 3y, y, you have a y node up to y6. That's why it's become yi. So equal to negative 6 exponent negative x, x discretized as xi. So bracket 1 plus xi squared. So again, we are going to eliminate the, eliminate the over h squared by multiplying h squared at each term. So the first term will reduce to yi plus 1 minus 2yi plus yi minus 1. Okay, second term you multiply by h squared. So the power 2 cancel with the h at the denominator. 2 and 2 here cancel. So it just left h which is 0 0.2. Okay, oh, here they put h here. H actually 0 0.2 xi multiply yi plus 1. Okay, this one is already expand. Okay, then we left h xi multiply yi plus 1. H xi and uh, negative, that's why it's minus h xi yi minus 1. Where the h, okay, you may straight away replace it by 0 0.2. Okay, this term. Make sure each term multiplied by h squared. So minus 3 h squared okay, will be this one, if you want, 0 0.04. I mean, we have got negative 3 times here. So yi. So the right-hand side also multiplied by h squared. Okay, so the right-hand side, you should have negative 6 times 0 0.04. So the right-hand side, negative 6 times 0 0.04, you get negative 0 0.24. Exponent negative xi, okay, bracket 1 plus xi squared. Okay, and uh, later on, we're collecting the term from yi minus 1. Because from, okay, left point, middle point is yi, okay, uh, right-hand side point, okay, which is yi plus 1. So collecting the yi minus 1, here, you have one term here. So one, one here, okay, here, this one. So it's negative 0 0.2 xi, yi minus one. So collect it. That's why the coefficient for yi minus one is one minus 0.2 xi. This is coefficient for yi minus one. Okay, later on, uh, you collect the term yi. Okay, the term yi. And then here, this one. So it's negative 2 yi. So negative 3 times 0 0.04. Okay, this one is total is negative 0 0.12. That's right. Negative 2 yi, negative 0 0.12 yi. Total is negative 2.12 yi. Okay, and then remaining is a yi plus 1 term here. Yeah. yi plus 1, okay, yi plus 1, you have coefficient 1. And then here, 0.2 xi, yi plus 1. So the yi plus 1 coefficient, okay, you have here 1, this one 0.2 xi. So now you get the finite different formula in term of yi minus 1, yi, yi plus 1. And the right hand side you see is doesn't depend on y. Right hand side is only function of x. Okay, up to the step four. Okay, I think um, similar with the okay uh, constant boundary condition. Okay, do you have a any question to obtain the formula here? Just make sure you do it carefully. Okay, if no, then we proceed to step. Uh, the following step is actually from the finite difference formula that you obtain. Okay, refer back, okay, uh, the step one diagram, you need to solve y naught, y1, y2, y3, y4, y5. Hence, you need to substitute i from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 into that finite difference formula that you obtain in step number four. Uh, here. So here, let's say you want to say this is step five. Okay, 
plug in i from 0 up to 5, where the x is actually varied from 0 with increment point 2 up to 1. Okay, and then okay, coefficient for y i minus 1, which is 1 minus 0 0.2 x i. So this is y i minus 1. Okay, and then coefficient for y i is constant. That's why I see all are constant value. Coefficient for y i plus 1 is 1 plus 0.2 x i. So this is the coefficient for y i plus 1. Right hand side, the formula is negative. Okay, 0 0.24 exponent negative xi bracket 1 plus, 1 plus xi squared. Okay, and then when you plug in i equal to 0 into yi minus 1, so you plug in 0 into yi minus 1, the first term that you obtain is y negative 1. Okay, that's why step 2, the first boundary condition, you need to express y negative 1 out in order to eliminate y negative 1, which is extra. Because what you need to solve is y not up to y number 5. So that's why you refer back step 2. Step 2, okay, when you find y not, okay, plug in into the first boundary condition, you will see the term, okay, y negative 1. So this term need to eliminate. Okay, that's why you need to express y negative 1. So this is a star equation. Okay, and then when the first term is y negative 1, go down, they will increase by 1. So from y negative 1, y not, y1, y2, y3, y4. Okay, to the right hand side, y negative 1, because you see this is yi. So okay, y negative 1 increase by 1, this will be y not. From here, increase by 1. This is y1. So go down, increase by 1. So y0, y1, y2, y3, y4, y5. So y1, y2, y3, y4, y5, y number 6. So this term is extra where you okay, uh, can eliminate it by using the second boundary condition that you, stop, uh, that you solve in step 3 here. y6 equal to y4. Okay, after that, you just tabulate the coefficient for yi minus 1, okay, yi plus 1, using the table menu, where you can tabulate two functions okay, uh, at the same time. Okay. Okay, um, so you can go to your table menu. So the coefficient yi minus 1, I key in, in uh, as a fx, which is y a 1 minus 0.2 of x, okay. Gx is a coefficient for yi plus 1, which is 1 plus 0.2 uh, x. Okay, you solve the x from 0, which is a starting 0 in calculator. Okay, and then ending is 1. Step is a step side h, which is 0.2. Okay, then fx is the coefficient for yi minus 1. So we have 1, 0 0.96, 0 0.92, 0 0.88, 0 0.84, 0 0.8. Okay, and then coefficient for gx is actually yi plus 1. You have here the last value 1.2, go up 1.16, 1.12, 1.08, 1.04, 1.05, 1.06, 1.07, 1.08, 1.09, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, 1.14, 1.15, 1.16, 1.17, 1.18, 1.19, 1.20, 
right ah. Oh, I came wrongly. Exponent negative x. Exponent negative x. Okay. So, mm. so the first value, okay, negative 0 0.24. The second value is negative 0 0.2044. Third, negative 0 0.1866. Okay, and later on, you have negative 0 0.1791. Negative k is 0 0.1769, the last value, negative 0 0.1766. Okay, or you may use KXL to build the table. So you key in k the first k formula for yi minus 1, and then you drag down to copy down formula. This is constant. Okay, this one also you key in the formula, and you copy it down. This one you key in the formula, you copy it down. So it's either you want to use calculator or you use a Microsoft Excel. And it's confirmed your final is still online. So let's say this is a step 5. Okay, after that, you see, okay, we just want to solve y not up to y5. That's why y negative 1 and y6 have to be eliminated. Okay, third, okay. Then to eliminate y negative 1, okay, we read back from the table, this is 1 y negative 1, which is here, where I written here, okay, y negative 1, so this is read negative 2.12 y naught plus 1 y1, okay, equal to negative 0 0.24 here. Okay, let me change a uh, color to here. This one, this is where we read from the first row of the table here. And then, okay, from the equation star in step 3, eh, equation star, okay, from uh, step 2, step 2, you obtain y negative 1 is actually y1 minus 0 0.4 y naught minus 1.2. Okay, this is from uh, step 2, the result that you obtain from step 2. So, you, okay, so now you replace here. So, y negative 1 is y1 minus 0.4 y naught, okay, minus 1.2, and then copy it down, negative 2.12 y naught plus y1 equal negative 0 0.24. Okay, then you simplify it. So y naught, y, eh, sorry, y1, y1, total is 2 y1, okay, and then minus, okay, 0.4 y naught minus 2.12 y naught, okay, so it's total negative 2 point phi 2 y notes okay and then minus 1.2 bring to right side is okay 1.2 minus okay, 0 0.24 you get 0 0.96 okay hence this is the new equation one to be put it into your matrix form so you see okay you need to solve y not up to y number five so you may Label the column to guide you to key in the coefficient okay, easily. So why not y1, y2, y3, y4, y5. So this is a matrix A. Okay, the matrix Y consists of the okay, vector y0, y1, y2, y3, y4, y5 equal to okay, vector B is actually from the right hand side. Okay, but equation one here you need to update because it consists of the term y minus 1 where we update here. We obtain is actually a negative 2.52. So we put up here, negative 2.52 y naught. y1 coefficient is 2. Right hand side is 0 0.96. Okay, then you obtain equation 1. Okay, uh, you have put up equation 1 into the linear system. Okay, ay equal to b correctly. Okay, after that, we look at the last equations. Huh? The last equations here, because you got the term y6, which is extra, and we know that y6 equal to y4. Okay, this one from uh, step 3, where step 3, you obtain the equation star star here. Uh, this one. And then from the last row in the table, you may read back, okay, point eight y4, which is here, negative 2.12 y5 plus 1.2 y6 equal to negative 0 0.1766. Okay, 
and then from step three you obtain the result y6 equal to y4 hence you replace y6 here by y4 so the rest you copy it down so you have 0.8 y4 plus 1.2 y4 so total is 2 y4 minus 2.12 y5 equal to negative 0.1766 okay and then you put up to the last row of your linear system a y equal to b okay you start from y4 uh, so here so mean you have y4 is 2 y5 is negative 2.12 okay right hand side is negative 0 0.1766 so mean okay we don't have the y node y1 y2 y3 so r 0 here okay after that you may read back here this is the equations uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, where you can directly put into the linear system A, Y equal to B in the uh, matrix form. So the second equation, you read back this one. This is 0 0.96 Y node. Okay, uh, so start from Y node. You can okay, easily just copy down the coefficient. It will be always 3 diagonal. Okay, start with Y node 0 0.96 Followed by negative 2.12 y1, mean refer to the second row uh, in the table. Okay, and then 1.04 y2. Okay, 1.04, uh, sorry, 1.04 y2. Okay, the rest, okay, y3, y4, y5 are 0. Right hand side, negative 0 0.2044. Okay, done, the second equation. Okay, and then you see the third equation from y0 go to y1 that's why it's three diagonal it move like this because third equation start with y1 coefficient is 0 0.92 the term k uh, that's not mentioned is will be zero so later on you see uh negative 2.12 y2 1.08 the third equation okay the fourth equation start with y number two and then you see why not y1 y number two 0 0.88 Followed by the coefficient negative 2.12, which is y3, 1.12, which is y number 4. Okay, so you can label column here easy for you to key in. So right hand side is negative 0 0.1791. Okay, the fifth equation start with y3, 0 0.84. So y not y1, y2, y3 here, 0 0.84, followed by the coefficient negative 2.12, y number 4. Okay, 1.16 y number 5. Right hand side is negative 0 0.1769. So you have okay, uh, obtained the system of linear equation of okay, uh, 6. Uh, I mean you got 6 by 6 system. Okay, and in uh, SM, un okay, unless they merge the equation from chapter, this is chapter 8 and chapter 3 together, then they will ask you to Continue solve y not up to y5. Okay, if the question is, is uh, separate, normally if a large system five uh, five by five above, uh, they may ask you to stop here because okay, uh, the the mark uh, and the time is limited there, so it depend on the okay, uh, the designer of the questions. Okay, but since the uh, example here asks you to solve this okay, ODE, this boundary value problem, so we may okay, continue to solve it, okay, but it's not uh, the solution is not in the slide. Okay? So we show you uh, how you can solve it. Yeah. You can check this one. It's three diagonal. You can solve using Thomas method, but it's tedious. Okay, uh, normally they solve Thomas algorithm, but you didn't learn it. And then you can check whether you can solve using Gauss-Seder. So Gauss-Seder, make sure the magnitude where uh, the magnitude at the diagonal is dominant. It is larger than other k value within the same row. So when you see this one, negative 2.52, when you take the magnitude, this is... 2.52 okay L greater than 2 so uh, this one is this value is diagonally dominant okay and then it's check the second row okay
okay magnitude 2.12 okay greater than 0 0.96 add up with 1.04 is 2 mean okay if you add up 0 0.96 1.04 magnitude is 2 this one is 2 point okay 1 2 so second row uh, okay is uh, okay third row you check also this is 2.12 the magnitude is 2.12 the other two value add up 2 so 2.12 is greater than 2 okay so the third okay, row okay the fourth row when you check this is 2.12 still greater than summation of 0 0.88 and of 1.12 which is 2 so this one also okay the fifth row negative 2.12 the magnitude is 2.12 still greater than summation of 0 0.84 and of 1.16 which is 2 so still satisfied that condition then the last row okay magnitude is 2.12 greater than 2 hence okay, this system is actually diagonally dominant so you may use the gauss okay, seder okay you can use a gauss seder okay provided you have checked okay, one by one they are diagonally dominant so this one you can solve using gauss seder okay and um, also you can always okay, for any system you can always solve it using gauss elimination method okay so we are going to show you okay, how to solve it using uh, the gauss elimination method and to make it as a template okay so that the system okay the three diagonal system that you obtain in bvp if this is six by six next round you just key in okay the a and b will, okay the answer is automatically okay uh, out